Hey guys, so today's video is actually going to be something that I asked in my last video, the palm video, if you guys were interested. And um, let me see if I get this right, 87 pages S. You requested this, I know you have a ball coming and you just bought your first contouring kit and I know you said it was Anastasia's um, Beverly Hills contour kit. I don't have that, but I have something similar. I'm actually using my Cover FX to show you how I contour. So I'm just gonna start from the start and I hope this is quick and to the point and I hope I help you. And um, it would be lovely if you can actually tag me when you contour for your ball. I would really appreciate that because I'm actually proud when people watch me and they gain something from it. So first thing first, what I like to do is I don't even care if like I wash my face. Once you wash your face, like, and I have oily skin. So what I do is whenever I am going to start doing my face, I use my light. I love this thing. Um, I have this in my kit. I use this personally. All I do is just basically wipe my face. my Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 um, moisturizer. Uh, if you have anything, like any preferences that you know, you've been using over the years um, to moisturize, and if you haven't, um, you need to start. I know you're like super young, <laughs> and um, we're always in the sun, so I would suggest that if you haven't, if you've never used it, you can just get Olay. Don't get the Total Effects, just get the regular, I forget what it is, Olay something. It's sensitive skin as well. It's a white bottle, black cap, that I remember watching Dr. Oz, he says usually you want to alternate. What kind of moisturizer you wear at night to what kind of moisturizer you wear in the morning don't wear the same thing but one thing i know for sure in the morning you would want to put a moisturizer on that has at least like spf this one has 15 i've seen some moisturizers with spf 20. um you might want to put that on um to protect your skin from the sun i know you probably heard this before but if you haven't well there you go fyi you've learned something new today I'm kind of running low. I'm actually gonna pick some up. Um, I just spray this all over my face. That's what I do is just basically drench my beauty blender, guys. I just wanted to use this as an example. All I did was put water in here and then just dipped it into the pan or whatever this is, <laughs> the lid, and it absorbed it. Next one, I'm using my Hello Flawless. This is um, Oxygen Wow, and this has an SPF 25. This is my benefit. I pump it on the back of my hand. And using my beauty blender, I just dip it, apply that, and the skin. And I don't like to have my face looking all like picky. Um, I'm not here to serve dessert, and um, so I like like a natural look. And the beauty blender, the wet beauty blender, actually gives me that. Next, using my Cover FX, this is the quad concealer, guys. As you guys can see, I really do use that. I am now going to go ahead and using uh, my brush by Ion Beauty. Any brush in your kit that looks like that. I am going to go into number one, which is G30. You just like that. And all I'm going to do is just do a triangle under my eye. Take that, add it again, and go from here all the way down to the tip of my nose. And I just draw like little branches, if you would like to call it little branches, or little grass blades. <laughs> and then right here. And also, I like to take it from here, from my mouth to the top of my ear. After highlighting, all I'm going to do is just turn it around. This is where I wanted to be highlighted. I'm just going to flip the brush around. And now going into number four, which is G90. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that exactly where I want to contour. Hold on, just let us escape and fly. A little 
it's slender, so I just apply the product to the side of it and I'm going to show you how I blend it out. So basically you have to look like a tribal warrior to know that you're doing something I'm back using the same beauty blender, all you do is basically, um, I usually start from the top and this right here I pull into my hairline. So you want to tap and you don't want to like erase what you just did. So just to blend it out, you're going to pull into the hair. And I'm going to plug it in these little parts and blend that upward. Usually I keep the under eye at the end because I just want my natural oils to be absorbed into the product before I even set it. And like I told you, I blend my contour that I put on my nose upward because it makes it smaller for me. And then I just flip it and blend upward. And so that's that for the contouring and highlighting. And all you have to do now is just basically set it. So what you do is wherever you had your contour, um, you want to match the color or something like similar. What I'm going to do now is basically using my Bahama Mama, and this is by The Balm. Using my Real Technique brush, and this is my contour brush, all I'm going to do now is just go ahead, go in, tap, and then go right back in and just apply the powder. Using my Real Technique brush, and this is actually their pointed foundation brush. I know this sounds crazy, but um, I'm just going to go ahead now and use my setting powder that I used to set my highlight. And basically, this powder was made by me and my little sister. Uh, we tried something. We wanted to do something natural instead of using something that's like infused with like a bunch of chemicals, and it works. Um, it's just cacao powder or cocoa powder and um, arrowroot powder. All you do is just leave the powder there, um, apply your makeup. Once you're done doing that, um, all the fallouts, basically you're just going to sweep it off because all you have to do is just use your brush, any fluffing brush, any brush like, for example, my Real Technique Duo Fiber Face Brush, you can do that. After you're done applying your makeup, all you have to do is just squeeze it like this and then just sweep it. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope I did you justice. Uh, if you have any more questions and you want to see me do anything else, feel free. Just leave a comment down below. Um, please, please, please subscribe, rate, comment down below, anything. Tell me how you're doing. Until next time, guys. Bye.